What's going on everybody? It's a YouTube Troy K.A. Okay, Papa Birdo. And I wanted to make this video to talk about the new Boruto trailer that came out. And unlike the last trailer, you know, this one is in full 1080p. And, you know, you can't help but notice how clean and smooth the animation looks. I don't know if Studio Period is behind this movie specifically, but they've done a good job, okay? I, I can only praise them for the kind of animation that they've shown in this trailer and on the first trailer as well. Uh, this movie is definitely going to look good, especially when it comes out on Blu-ray. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Um, I, I was just flabbergasted the whole way through, not only at the animation, but at the scenes they showed, right? So, you know, one thing that I really have to note is that, you know, they're actually going out of the way to show the new generation, right? You know, you see Mitsuki, you see Rock Lee's son, you see Eno's kid, you see a, a lot of other, like, of the new generation, right? Except for Chocho. That's the one ninja I really didn't see there. But they're, they're really heavily implying, hey, there's a new generation, and we're moving forward now with this, right? Now, another thing that I have to say is that uh, they're trying to communicate to the audience that Boruto is the polar opposite of, of Naruto, right? In terms of, you know, Naruto was this hardworking ninja who didn't really have any talent, right? He didn't have any special affinity or anything like that. But now that Boruto has, you know, Hyuga blood and Usamaki blood, you know, he can do both the Rasengan and the Chidori. So in the trailer, at the end of the trailer, you can see that he does the Rasengan easily. And he doesn't even need clones. It doesn't even look like he used a clone or anything. So, you know, the fact that he can just do both of those really shows how much of a talented ninja he is. And you know what? I'm going to go out of on a limb here and say that this movie is going to be like the last. And if you guys have seen the last, you know where I'm going with this. Okay. The last wasn't so much about action and, you know, epic fights. It was more about, you know, relationships and emotions and, and you know, all this stuff. And I think that this movie is going to be just like that. And this villain right here, this villain is just a way or, you know, he, you know, this new villain was just a way to meet the action quota. Right. So this new villain is going to be is going to start showing up during the middle of the movie, I'm assuming. And by the end, you know, uh, Boruto is going to feel different about his dad. There's a lot of predictions that Naruto is going to die. But what I truly believe is that Boruto is going to presume him dead. Right during one of those explosions you see on the trailer and he's gonna you know wear naruto's jacket to kind of try to embody his father and by the end of the movie he's gonna have a completely different uh outside right uh, he's gonna be he's gonna be looking different towards his dad and again this movie seems like it's gonna be heavily focused on you know boruto and naruto's relationship so if anything i'm just gonna advise you guys not to expect this movie to be all about action okay because a lot of people were disappointed about the last. Because it didn't have a lot of action. It only had a final villain at the end of the movie. And that was really it. It was mostly focused about Naruto and Hinata. And, you know, as far as the scenes go in the trailer, right? You could see that uh, Naruto... Well, Naruto and Boruto are talking in the office. You know, Boruto's kind of like yelling at him. And he runs out of the office. And then, right after that, you see a cake. Right? It looks like a birthday cake fall on the floor... And then you see Boruto doing like a motion as if he's the one that threw it. And I'm willing to bet he's the one that threw the cake because he's, uh, I believe he's mad maybe that Naruto wasn't able to make it to his own birthday party. Well, to his son's birthday party, I'm sorry. And you can see Hinata and in the background there's a lot of decorations and balloons and stuff. So I'm willing to bet that's what happened. You, you know, that's really all I really got to talk about on the trailer. But I, I really want to see this movie now. Honestly, before I wasn't so hyped. Because I felt like they were just trying to come out with this movie uh, just for the sake of keeping the, the Naruto franchise alive. But this movie really seems interesting. And, and I'm actually very excited to see if they show anything more in, in, in other trailers. Because this movie is, is almost going to be out in less than two months, I believe. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Peace.